Joe Rogan hits back after criticism from The View. Dragon Believer. Okay, let's get to some real news. Jesus Christ. Basically, to this guy, Joe Rogan, who believes in dragons. He, I checked it. He, he believes, believes in dragons? He believes in dragons. Did you triple and, force that? Yes, I did. And he also <laughs> thinks that they, dragons, like I guess like dinosaur type type of animals, yeah. roamed the earth when people did. <laughs> Rogan really leaning into this one by changing his ex-bio <laughs> to quote Dragon Believer. Joe Concha is a Fox News yeah. contributor and he joins us now. So this is so up Joe Rogan's alley in terms of what he finds funny to first of all be called a dragon believer <laughs> and also to be accused of being an unreliable source of information by the ladies of the view so what is your reaction to all of this oh yes carly we should absolutely trust the view okay you guys want to understand something this is the reason why fox news's ratings are infinitely better than the liberal media ratings because they're both talking about nonsense but at least this is entertaining nonsense do you see what i mean like the nonsense that we just watched on cnn is like the the minor differences uh between jeff bezos and elon musk and how we should take these guys seriously and how they're going to possibly improve the federal government or maybe ruin it whereas these guys are just like joe rogan look Look at these dumbasses who say Joe Rogan believes in dragons. He only believes in dragons a little bit. Revolutionize the world uh, with electric cars, SpaceX. I could go on with the, the accomplishments of, of Elon Musk. Uh, I, I have a question. Do, do stupid people get to a point in life where they realize that they're, you know, stupid? Because this is what panic sounds like in legacy media. I need to actually dive deeper into this Joe Rogan dragon we're in hell we might as well enjoy it does anybody have the clip where did this joe rogan dragon stuff come from this is from his podcast okay let's start <laughs> let's start here first were dragons real animals you you like these kind of far out there ideas how do you like this idea there's a cut there's a group of people that say that dragons were real and i'll explain Ooh. so at around the same time period, so to speak, and I'm not one of these people, so I'm probably going to get the details wrong like a little bit. It's like a Matthew bit. McConaughey movie right yeah, now. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but, uh, so around the same time period in, you know... I think he's trolling, right? Evidence dragons were real, full documentary. Like, I don't think he actually thinks dragons are real. Yeah, South America, Africa, all these different... Rome, all these places, images depicted people fighting dragons, right? And every, every dragon was slightly different, but it was all a giant, scaly animal that could fly. So when you take when you break that down, you think about the fact that large birds had a hard time being fossilized because their bones are so porous, right? So because bones they have like hollowish bones, they break down very easily and they don't fossilize. Wait, this clip is literally from 2019. I was going to say Joe Rogan talking about like whether or not dragons are real or not doesn't seem like new Joe Rogan. It seems like good Joe Rogan, old Joe Rogan, which is why I was a little confused. And it, when you scroll down, you realize, oh, no, this is like it's not the best Joe Rogan because the best Joe Rogan is like 2016 era. I think before Milo, Milo Yiannopoulos, pre Milo Joe Rogan, pre like white supremacists always have uh, an opportunity to come and speak to millions of people on my podcast joe rogan definitely uh, an older version of joe rogan that was still kind of you know that was still kind of fun so the 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 group that says this basically they're they're saying the evidence is the reason there's no fossils of dragons is because they had bird bones and they were actually very delicate animals but a handful of these small small a small population of these giant Lip flying lizards existed and basically encompassed all these different countries where they all depicted fighting dragons in their own way and they were all killed off by you know knights or whatever it is and then the person who's describing to him the the dragon stuff is also not a believer or a committed believer to the dragon theory what is this do you you think he'll ever acknowledge you how hard would you have to insult him no Joe Rogan will never acknowledge me because I have insulted him far too much. But um, I think this is like the exact type of conversation Joe Rogan used to have that wasn't like damaging or dangerous at all. It was just like fun conspiracies that we all like to entertain every now and then. I've done it too. I've done the Mud Fossil University. I've like sarcastically aligned myself with this notion, if you recall. Like, I think this type of is fun and totally acceptable like oh yeah maybe dragons were real versus there's a cabal of pedophilic jews that control the media and are also simultaneously you know beaming pornography into your brains and also doing unlimited amounts of third world immigration into uh the country like that is not so fun that type of conspiratorial thinking is fascist and not good i feel like we moved on from the haha funny cute 
who knows, maybe dragons did exist. Imagine a world where they did type of conspiracy theories to the second type. So it's like the science is saying that if there were lizards big enough to fly around and eat people, they it, didn't have bones that could fossilize. So it'd be like an eagle. Right. And so, and that's why, you know, that's why all these human populations around the world have depictions of them because they did actually exist. Now, are there any stories of dragons like written, like in the times of people that they have actually had the written word or is it just depictions? I, mean, I don't know. Not my field. That but, would be interesting because like, are these depictions like ancient accounts told by generation after generation, like passed down? I think so. I think, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about dragons or whether right. it's real, but I think it's interesting to think, oh, well, the science supports that if there were flying lizards, their bones wouldn't have fossilized, and these have been passed down, stories that have... So what about, like, pterodactyls? How the do they exist then those are flying reptiles bro he just said flying lizards how is that any different i mean he's not even arguing for this he's not arguing for this position he very clearly said he doesn't believe this but he thinks it's like a fun cool conspiracy also what's hilarious about this is that, like the current existing birds are the closest i think uh, genetically to dinosaurs <laughs> so i don't really understand where we're going with that one you're out of your depth on this bro yeah special forces vet evan hafer and joe rogan on trump declaring war on the cartels it's gonna get wild come january 20th oh my god dude you don't understand america has such a good long-standing track record fighting against well-entrenched insurgencies like they are so good famously america is so good just mopping the floor with insurgency movements especially when they're fully funded urban warfare famously notoriously easy notoriously great track record from america i can't think of a single time where america's had a success in this okay like world war ii doesn't fit the standard there's never been a moment where america has ever in its history successfully conducted a counterinsurgency operation and this time it's literally dudes with our guns it's our guns that we gave them vietnam what do you mean vietnam was, you think vietnam was a success that's a crazy way to look at vietnam vietnam was like the easiest to, to think about like vietnam was the quickest answer to the proof of what i'm saying i was thinking about this from the thought exercise where i'm like because i you know i i know these units i'm intimately familiar with them uh-huh <laughs> bro if we declare war on the cartel like these these dudes are not going to understand what is going on no like of course they, not. they are they are going to be god you'll god stop the distribution guys. They, that, that's going to be yeah they that. they are in for a world of like ultra violence they've never actually felt before because they, you know obviously this is a very capable ultra violent organization they have no clue if we organize these tier one units against them this is going to be uh, what i would be doing if i was down there I'd be like i know all those shoe boxes in my you know my walls that i'm gonna have to collect up i'd be getting ready to retire right now that's what i would be doing because if delta force is hunting me bro i would be so terrified <laughs> is that a real thing that they, they've proposed doing yes that is a real it's funny to be like wow cartels are not ready for ultra violence it's like we trained them what are you talking about what are you saying he's like i can't wait to see my homies that i trained long time ago using newer weapons that i didn't even know they had they, who proposed that uh i i'm almost positive either jd or trump had said something with the new <laughs> guy from ice like we're gonna mobilize tier one units against the cartel no what they're gonna do is kill a Ton of mexican civilians because the only way america knows how to wage war is carpet bomb entire villages and call it a day as all the tier one operators piss in their pants because they encountered sniper fire from the tree line okay yeah that's what we're gonna do great great example great argument this time it'll work surely it's stupid yeah they're gonna crash a black hawk into a village retire if you, if you guys <laughs> You guys got some money, man. I would like put that away, yeah. you know, like maybe move Jamaica. Oh, I don't know, go somewhere. Yeah. yeah, buy a restaurant. Like buy try to go legit because Yeah, go legit. Dude, if those guys are hunting you, yeah. You, by, by the way, like you you're done. This is such a funny like my dad will beat your dad type situation. Oh, dude, have you ever played a Call of Duty campaign? I mean, it's easy pickings, dude. Do you not understand? Like, rooted up Delta and Dev Grew guys getting down south of the border to get some cartel scallops only to find a CIA SAG guys already there holding big signs to say you can't kill this guy. 
Also, we have nothing to do with him. Funny that these three litter agencies and IRL Bond villain guys aren't allowed to talk to each other and also don't really care, too, so you end up with Abbott and Costello Green Zone style where Pentagon funded guys and CIA funded guys are trying to arrest DEA funded guys. America's attitude right now is basically like, oh, there's a shiny toy that like my neighbor is playing with. I'm going to burn his house down. Mexico's just chilling, doing partnerships with China, developing the nation. Not, you know, not spectacular, but two relatively decent leaders in a row. People seem happier than they ever have been with their, you know, previous governments. And they're like, oh, it's time to destroy them it's time to literally kill them dead it's time to everything up oh it seems like they're doing fine i hate that i'm gonna kill them and then when people are like oh my god you killed my entire family and you destroyed the remains of like whatever wasn't the narco economy you've completely destroyed it now i have no other option but to cross the border and then you go and you spit on the people that cross the border you're like you you want to rape and murder my wife and that's the american success story over and over again it's like such a wild thing to say that we have to you know bomb mexico and engage in in war with a sovereign nation while simultaneously complaining about undocumented immigrants like how the do you think undocumented immigrants happen dude like people don't want to leave their homes man i don't know how i can describe this to dumbass americans okay like i came here as an american citizen right and even then it wasn't super easy you know you just leave your whole family and you leave your culture your home your friends behind to come to an entirely different country and i am at the tippy top of privilege at the tippy top of privilege and even then there was like you know some hard choices these guys are fleeing the death and destruction that america has created in their homes so much so that they have to leave everything behind and trek on foot through treacherous terrain to go and work for pennies on the dollar to get ritualistically humiliated and abused and be outside of the legal system so they don't even have any sort of protection whatsoever and then they still get spit on after all the work that they put in to have some sense of normalcy and america goes you know those guys but also let's make more of them by bombing a relatively stable nation south of our border it's so stupid it's stupid and it pisses me off we could just kind of like versus cyber warfare and other over and covert actions to inflict maximum damage on cartel leadership infrastructure and operations oh jesus bro it is going to get wild <laughs> it's come january wild. 20th the peaceful dove ladies and gentlemen no new wars ladies and gentlemen trump isn't going to do sh he had a good relationship with amlo and i think he's going to be the same yeah as long as AMLO and Scheinbaum maintain border patrol, America probably won't do too much about it. So we'll see. AMLO's doing the Erdogan thing. Like, the method is Erdogan took in a whole bunch of Syrian refugees so that they wouldn't go to Europe and in return, he gets to arrest like Kurdish journalists and shit every now and then. He gets to bully like journalists that call him gay. AMLO on the other hand was like, yeah, we'll be your border patrol for America. So as long as that still remains, I don't think he'll do something about it.